All right, in this video, I just want to talk briefly about some summation notation. And all summation notation is basically what it says. It's just a uh, type of notation. But um, oftentimes in mathematics, simply understanding the uh, notation, making sense out of the notation, <clears throat> is half the battle. Um, you know, if you don't know what the heck it's saying, obviously it doesn't help you too much. So the idea with the summation notation is there's this big capital Greek letter called sigma that looks like a big E. Okay, at the bottom you'll have what's called the index, <clears throat> and there'll be a variable associated with that index or a letter. I mean, it's, I guess it's really you can think about it as a variable or whatever. Wherever this number at the bottom starts, it says um, that's where we're going to start our sum, and the value at the top is where we're going to end the sum. So, the idea is the summation notation is a compact way of writing the following sum. So the first thing we do, it says i starts at 1, so we replace the i with a 1. All right, well, easy enough. And then the summation, well, they say the sum, ation, because it has to do with addition. And then the idea is whatever this number is at the bottom, you bump it up. So by one whole unit. <clears throat> so the next value would be um, i equals 2. So we would get the term a sub 2 and then a sub 3, a sub 4, and then we would keep going until generically it says we'll keep going until the stopping point of n. So the second to last term would be abbreviated a sub n minus 1 and the last one would be abbreviated just a sub n. <clears throat> okay, so let's see if we can actually make some sense out of this with some numerical examples. Again, just some very basic numerical examples, nothing uh, real heavy in here. <clears throat> All right, so in this case, we're going to sum up from i equals 0 to 4 of the quantity i squared. Well, it says the first thing you do is plug in 0, so I'll get 0 squared. And then I add, I basically increment up to 1. So then I'll have 1 squared. Again, I'm replacing my i with numbers. And then I'll have 2 squared. Then I'll plug in my 3. That'll give me 3 squared. Then I'll plug in my 4. That'll give me 4 squared. So the sum actually represents a number. It represents 1 squared, which is 1. 2 squared, which is 4. 3 squared, which is 9. 4 squared, which is 16. And if you add those up, you end up getting 30. Okay, so that summation notation is just a shorthand case in this, um, in this case for uh, writing the number 30. Notice in my next example here, there's really nothing different except my index now starts at 2 instead of 0 like in the last example. Well, all that means is the first number you plug in is 2. So I'll get simply 2 squared, then I plug in 3. 3 squared, then I plug in 4, I get 4 squared. So again, all this new sum represents is, uh, is the numbers 4 plus 9 plus 16. Notice we're just leaving out the first two in this case. So if you add those up, we'll, we'll simply be left with, in this case, the value of 29. Okay, so a lot of times they'll start it at 1. Um, you know, it definitely doesn't have to. It can start anywhere at once, and it can stop anywhere at once. All right, let's maybe do a couple more. <clears throat> again, these I'm not going to calculate all the way out. So again, it says if you start at i equals 4 and we go up to 7, so it says everywhere there's an i, I'm going to plug in the quantity 4. So that's my i equals 4 term when I plug it in. And then I have to keep going. I'll plug in i equals 5. I'll plug in i equals 6. And then it says we'll keep doing this until we plug in 7. So my last term, I'm going to squeeze it underneath here, will be 2 times 7 plus 1 7th. 
and that'll be your sum. So again, the second part corresponds to i equals 5, i equals 6, and lastly, i equals 7. So I'm going to be lazy and not do the arithmetic on this one. Um, I'm mainly just trying to show you how things fit in, so you can always evaluate that. <clears throat> All right, let's look at our next example from i equals 1 to 5. Well, this one's a little easier, um, maybe a bit trivial compared to the other ones. It says we just plug in 1, and then the next one I guess I'll get 2, then I'll get 3, then if I plug in 4, I'll get 4, and then lastly I get 5. So if we add these up, notice you get the number 15. And the only reason why I'm putting this kind of seemingly easy example up here is there's a little formula that sometimes is useful to know. It says if you sum up from i equals 1 to n of, the, of just i, so again, what you're doing is you're summing up the first n whole numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, etc. A little shorthand formula for this is you take the top number n, you multiply that by n plus 1, and you divide it by 2. So notice in our example up here, according to this formula, it says you would get 5 times 1 bigger, which is 6, over 2, and in fact, hey, we do get the number 15 out. Okay, so just a, uh, a nice little example there. It's kind of an interesting historical story behind that, uh, that formula, but we won't go into it here. So now let's just do a couple backwards real quick, rewrite using some summation notation. So in this case, Rewriting something in summation notation is just a lot of pattern spotting. It can be tr pretty tricky depending on uh, how complicated the formula or you know whatever they give you they want you to rewrite is. <coughs> um, again, obviously, well, maybe obviously, in this case it's not, not too crazy yet. So all I'm doing is adding 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 plus 18 plus 21. Well, in this case I recognize that we are adding up multiples of 3, right? 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4. So generically, I'm going to have multiples of 3, and I can write that as 3 times i. Well, to start this in the right place, I would need to start this at i equals 1, right? If you plug in 1, you'll get 3 times 1, which will give me my first term, 3. Well, the last number I would have to stop at would be 3 times 7, or 21. So it says my index um, should stop at 7. And you can go backwards just like we did a second ago, plug all this in and see that you do in fact get all of this stuff right back. Okay? So one last one here again, you know, these are pretty, pretty basic examples. Um, so notice we start with 26.5, and then we bump that down by 2, 24.5, then we bump it down by 2, 22.5. Again, the little dots in between simply indicates that this pattern just continues on until the last number that we'll, we'll use will be 2.5. All right, so again, we've got um, a sum, so we can use our summation notation. All we're doing is basically, again, notice we're just subtracting away multiples of 2. Okay, you subtract 2, you subtract 2. Again, there's a lot of different ways you can write this. To me, I think about it as being my starting point, which is 26.5. And then again, I'm subtracting away multiples of 2. Now, to make this thing start in the right place, again, I want the first number that gets spit out to be 26.5, which means I would need to start this one, in fact, at i equals 0. And then, let's see, um, how far would we need to go? Well, notice, basically, 26.5 uh, minus 24 will give me my last term. So, to subtract away 24, it looks like I would have to go up to the index of 12. So again, you can play with this, expand this out like we did before, and convince yourself that you do in fact get the same sum right back. All right, so again, a very quick, 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 brief little introduction to summation notation. I hope uh, this definitely makes some sense. And um, again, you see summation notation a lot, especially in calculus. 
Um, so if you are taking calculus, maybe that's why you're watching this in the first place. If you plan on taking calculus, you'll definitely um, encounter this quite a bit. So I hope it helps again. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me an email via YouTube. If I got time, I will try to help you out. Um, but don't get mad if I don't because I'm a busy guy. All right, take care. Good luck out there.